Prince Harry is set to return to the UK in 2027 to take part in the Invictus Games to be held in Birmingham. The announcement, despite the Duke of Sussex being overjoyed, has caused a wave of concern among Birmingham residents over the financial implications of the event. Birmingham, the second largest city in the UK, declared bankruptcy in September last year. To deal with the financial crisis, the local council raised tax by 21% over the next two years in an attempt to save £300 million. The £26 million Invictus Games bid, funded by the UK government, has caused local residents to worry about the allocation of funds. Residents fear that money intended for essential services such as pothole repairs and utility improvements could be diverted to support the games. The financial strain on the city has already led to significant cuts. Residents will see a reduction in rubbish collection services. Collection will be fortnightly rather than weekly. In addition, street lighting will be dimmed and more than 600 council jobs will be cut. The measures highlight the serious financial challenges Birmingham faces as it prepares to host a high-profile sporting event. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle's reaction to the news has been less than enthusiastic. There is talk that Meghan will never set foot on British soil again despite the Invictus Games returning to the UK for the first time since London 2014. Her reluctance to visit the country shows the growing disconnect between the Duchess of Sussex and her former royal duties. The upcoming Invictus Games will be held in Vancouver and Whistler in 2025, but the focus is now on the 2027 Games in Birmingham. In preparation for them, Prince Harry is looking for a new CEO after Dominic Reed announced he was stepping down from the position. Speculation surrounding Prince Harry's future involvement with Invictus Games has increased. According to a discussion on Reddit user Second Hand Coke, there is a possibility that Harry could be removed as patron by the time the games take place in Birmingham. This speculation is backed up by recent comments that Invictus Games may be considering a significant change in leadership. Royal expert and biographer Angela Levine raised eyebrows when she stated that Invictus Games may be planning to replace Prince Harry with Mike Tyndall a former rugby union player and husband of Zara Tyndall, King Charles's niece. Levin suggested that Tyndall has already been appointed Games Ambassador, potentially becoming Harry's successor. Levine's remarks highlight the Invictus Games community's concerns about the royal family's growing association with the event. She criticized Meghan Markle's participation, suggesting that her involvement in public appearances detracts from the original mission of the event. Levin argues that Meghan's unfamiliarity with the military experience and her supposed emphasis on personal advancement has upset those attending the Games. According to Levin, the Invictus community is unhappy with Meghan's contributions, especially her speeches and public appearances, which some feel overshadow the event's primary purpose of supporting wounded, injured, and ill servicemen and women. Levin's comments suggest that there may be a movement within the Invictus Games to return to a less royal centric focus which could involve a reassessment of Prince Harry's role.